Um, so in 1811, um, there was a chance encounter where he got pulled away from his mathematical studies at Cambridge and uh, ended up uh, going to a party. This never happens, right? <laughs> Babbage in Love, 1811. For you, the world has always been knowable. An endless stream of equations expanding or contracting around an idea, a description of natural forces, or the familiar pattern unfolding in the leaves, and the numbered grace of branches weaving their canopies over country lanes, catching whatever stars, whatever moon, looms over the dark and predictable ways of men like you who bend at library desks night after night, except for this one, where you have come by chance to a ball at the home of someone you barely know, and here glimpse a face, or rather a brilliance in an eye that belongs to a stranger, an unknown variable who now finds her way into the awkward calculus of your heart. The room suddenly full of celestial motion, the tables brimming with air, and your hand in hers seems at last so improbable, an unsolvable mystery. Nothing has prepared you for this moment, not a childhood spent summoning the devil into salted circles to ask unanswerable questions, not the hours of rowing a skiff across an empty lake at dawn, the arc of the waves echoing the early light, so many fields of labor pointless here. You, as unsteady, as uncertain as you were in youth, a teenage boy with boards strapped to your feet, trying to walk on water, trying not to drown. Um, what I love about Babbage's life is that you don't have to invent anything. When you read his memoir, he did all these crazy things. Um, in, in boarding school, when he was a very young boy, he became fascinated, as only an engineer can, in whether or not there was a systematic way to summon a devil, and how to then verify which of all methods were most efficient, and what things you could control in order to achieve the desired result. It was like, <laughs> and they did actually, he took the, the boards, or like basically the, the hardcovers off of his father's books, and made, made, uh, made special shoes. He strapped them to his feet, and he walked across the lake only to discover that the glue was water-soluble. <laughs> and we almost didn't get Babbage after that. Um.